could this couple save themselves from a homophobic attack? This story begins with Diana who confesses to Pedro that she does not believe in the Bible, since the Bible punishes and does not forgive homosexuality. Diana has a friend who is attracted to people of the same sex as hers, and for that reason she does not agree that they should go to hell for loving each other. What Diana tells him leaves Pedro very restless and worried, since he doesn't know what to answer. When Diana talks to her best friend, she tells her that she has known Pedro for a long time, and now that she has seen him again, she finds him very changed, since Pedro, after having a very superficial and fun life, is now a Christian, and is a living example of love and humility. One afternoon Pedro is in a hurry to deliver a package, in the elevator he meets a couple of women, who are very much in love, excited and happy, making plans for their wedding since they are going to get married soon, Pedro is very nervous he tries to tell them about God's love, but he didn't. When they reach the 27th floor, the couple gets off and suddenly, the elevator breaks down, being trapped in it, happily he manages to communicate with the security team, who instructs him to unlock the door and allow Pedro to leave without problem, but they warn him not to leave the elevator alone, until they approach the place, since it is very dangerous if someone gets up there. Since he was retarded, what occurs to him is to put up a warning sign. But a homophobic man arrives, knowing that the women in love were coming, very maliciously removes the sign and leaves there. Immediately horrifying screams are heard. Immediately Pedro wakes up with a start, and consciously he is happy since he thinks that everything that happened was just a nightmare. But despite that, he was very restless, so he decides to search his laptop for videos that interview homosexual people and find some very interesting ones where they ask some questions, which I would like some of you to put yourself in their position and answer. Some of the questions in the comments, before they give their answer. Do you think that homosexuals should have the right to marry? What do you think of the marriage of two people of the same sex, do you think one is born homosexual or do they choose to be? Then they ask him the same question but regarding adultery and fornication. All the interviewees agreed with the same answers, in the first they believe that they should have the right to get married, although some couples have not yet dared to do so. Regarding the second question, all of them thought that there is no problem in getting married if there is love between two people regardless of gender, and regarding the third, there were different opinions. Some believe that it was their nature to be born homosexual and others believe that everyone chooses to be, or not to be homosexual, and the same answers were obtained with adultery and fornication, some said that one is born and others that one chooses. In the end, the interviewer tells them that he himself was born with infidelity and fornication tendencies. He explains that we are all born with a desire to do what we want to do, even if it's wrong, his desires took over him, but that doesn't make it right, trying to make them understand that everyone is responsible for what they do. Later, Pedro meets Diana, and remembering the surveys, he asks her what she thinks about marriage between people of the same sex, her answer is not different from that of the others, she believes in God, but has a bad concept of the Bible, believe in a good God and not a punishing and relentless God who sends people who think differently to hell. Peter tells him that not all Christians hate homosexuals, and when showing her one of the interviews she watched, Diana is surprised that the interviewer was understanding and not so self-righteous about it. The interviewer showed them 1 Corinthians 6 from 9 to 10, indicating that his mission was to warn them what the Bible says about it. For example, if you see a car on the street that is on fire, there is a sense of urgency in notifying the person that they are in danger, the same feeling has the Christian in warning people who do not know what the Word of God says. Before Pedro retires, Diana, very sad, confesses that she is furious with God because her brother has a very aggressive cancer, who is married and has three children. She doesn't understand why God allows such things to happen, he just tells her that she is sorry and that she will pray for him. The next day, Pedro goes to work with his friend Ben. They are very thirsty so they stop at a store, only Pedro got out of the car, and upon entering, unexpectedly a very strange subject pulls out a weapon and assaults the store, subduing the customers, 
Ben from the car notices and immediately marks the 911, followed by that he sends a message to all his contacts saying, Pedro is in trouble, a man has a gun, pray. The message is received by Diana, who, worried and not knowing how to do it, asked God to protect Peter. Meanwhile, in the store, Pedro, seeing that the subject wanted to shoot a gay couple, in an act of love tells the offender to take his life, at that moment the police arrive and the offender quickly takes a shot. Hostage to get out of the store. There, Pedro takes the opportunity to quietly leave the store, and grab a can to faint the delinquent, leaving him as a hero. Ben immediately tells Diana that everything is fine, and sends her the photos as evidence, she thanks God, apparently he heard his prayers that he made with such faith. For this reason, look carefully at the videos that Pedro sent him from other surveys on the same subject, and the controversy between morality and the Bible, where the pollster concludes that we are all sinners in one way or another, because we all we have stolen, lied, criticized, and many other things. But God can forgive everyone who repents and trusts in Jesus, because he already paid for our sins on the cross, and through Jesus God will forgive us. The boys, in gratitude for having saved their lives, invite Pedro to dinner. In the restaurant, they ask him why he risked his life to save them, he doesn't even know them. Peter answers him in the simplest way, that he was actually terrified, but since he is a Christian and is holy, he knows that if he dies he will go to heaven. One of the boys changes his attitude and angrily asks him if he knew that they are homosexual, clarifying that they know that Christians hate them. Pedro tells him that he did know, because he saw them holding hands before the man arrived with the gun, and that a true Christian does not hate homosexuals. Later they return to the subject, and the boys are surprised when they find out that the word homosexual did not exist before, however in the Bible they mention a Greek word that is the equivalent of homosexuality. Pedro tells them that he had a dream and if he doesn't share his faith with others, it's like not warning people about a broken elevator. Love can't just shut up. Pedro cordially hands them some brochures where they can find many answers to their questions, but the boy gets annoyed again and tells him that he doesn't want to hear any more. Before leaving, he tells his partner not to bring any of it to his home. However, the other boy tells him to be kind, because Pedro saved their lives, he ignores the lover and stays to talk. Pedro apologizes since his intention was not to bother them. The boy asks Pedro if he has any idea of the things they go through as homosexuals. Peter tells him that he doesn't have all the answers, but what he did in the store for them is because he cared and that any real Christian would do the same, since they sincerely care about them. He also tells him that even though he is terrified of telling the truth, he has to tell it, because it is not about him but about a loving God, who sent his son to die so that each and every one of us can be forgiven for our mistakes. Sins, whatever they may be and receive the gift of eternal life. After that Pedro meets Diana at the show of her friend Ben's, she tells Pedro that she feels very happy because she is beginning to pray and feel the true love of God. At that moment she receives a call and leaves without giving any reason, but after a while she writes to Pedro that she had a family emergency and that is why she left. When suddenly, in the middle of the road, in pitch darkness, Diana ran out of fuel. She tries to communicate with Pedro, but her answering machine comes out, so she leaves him a voice message, and she takes the opportunity to tell him what she couldn't tell him on the show. Meanwhile, Pedro loses his stage fright and goes up on stage to perform his imitations, as his friend Ben had asked him so many times. Anxious Diana, and seeing that she has no response from Pedro, her fear and her nerves invade her, when suddenly, a man appears yelling to open the door for him. Diana screams in terror, but since she doesn't open it, the man breaks the glass, grabs her and pulls her out of the car, when the sound of a railway coming towards them is heard. When Pedro finds out, he immediately goes to the hospital, on the way he listens to the message that Diana left him, before what happened. She was very grateful, since for him, she began to read the Bible and recognize her sin. That despite the fact that she still has a lot to read and she has many doubts to solve, 
She now knows that God gives many second chances to people and she needs a second chance, so she thanked him again for not giving up and for being her friend. In the end, in the news, they report a dramatic rescue, the event occurred when a man prevented a woman from being crushed by a train, since she was resisting being taken out of the vehicle, thinking that man was going to attack her, when in in reality, the hero, in a selfless act of courage, turned out to be a friend from an enemy. This is the summary of a Christian movie called Audacity, you can find it on this same platform. Click here and don't miss the next story.